Welcome. Keep your eyes glued to the screen, buddy boy. You don't want to miss this. Now, enjoy the show. Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Payday 2 video. My name is Mark, all the way known as Marking. And as I promised two weeks ago, if I would reach level 100 in two weeks, I would make a video where I would go around and explain my Technician Blow Shit Up build. And what I did, I uh, I found a, I got, uh, created a new one, which is I called something profound, because I have the other one in case I fuck shit up, which I'm known to. So what I did, I uh, I made a backup of it, and I uh, I cleared it. But uh, I'm gonna build it in this one in something profound. So for the I'm gonna run as the same as I did before. I'm gonna run through all the different. Uh, Classes. I don't know if they're classes, but I'm gonna call, call them classes and then through all these specific uh, trees uh, Which I'm gonna do at all of them and it's probably going to be focused a lot on technician and not as much as enforcer So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the mastermind class and then into the medics Medic tree I am going to take one point in combat medic um, there we go. One point in combat medic. I, I looked and I clicked and it didn't seem like it triggered, so... One point in combat medic. Then we could choose between quick fix or painkillers or a combat medic, but I'm not going to do any of those. I'm not going to pick any in medic actually at all anymore. I'm not going to pick any more in controller and I'm not even going to pick any in sharpshooter. So that is the mastermind class, which was... Yeah, it's just one point in combat medic, which gives... Uh, which means that you get 30% uh, damage reduction for 5 seconds after you After and during reviving another player So if you revive someone They get a damage reduction So it's it's pretty good for later on But for now just just I'm just gonna put one point in combat medic And then for the enforcer class We are going to put Nothing in shotgunner Nothing in the shotgunner class We are going to put one point in resilience, which is increase your armor, cu armor recovery rate by 15%, which I think is a very nice addition to this build. And then we're gonna put one point in diehard, which is that you take 50% less damage while interacting with things, with objects, sorry. And then one point in transporter, which means that you can throw bags further, which, you know. It, I, I would say I recommend doing this on every build, picking up the transporter skill because it is, it's it's just nice. It's just nice when you have like a drill or something, or like loot bag, you can just throw it further. I, I really enjoy using it. If you don't, it's all yours, but I'd say take it. Um, that's the end of the tank tree, and then for the ammo specialist tree, there is nothing in this that I'm going to take. Not even going to take the soul because if I take the soul, I take it as my primary weapon. And then I would take something like a deagle or a, or a shotgun as my secondary. I would take, uh, you know, I'd take a desert eagle, which is uh, this one, which I prefer as my loud build, or I take a Remington short barreled M870, which I <laughs> modified quite a lot, and I even grabbed uh, heat rounds on it. But that's what I would take as a secondary, and that's why I don't take the portable saw. And then for the technician class, this is where we are going to have a lot of fun. And what what for me for me it's basically you choose between or you go sentry gun or you go C4. And I just prefer using the C4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave the engineer class in technician. I'm just gonna not put I'm not gonna put any points in it because it's it yeah it's basically all all the deployables you know I mean I could use this one as the first one but it would mean that I would have to invest a lot of points in this one which I already use in other skill sets so I'm not going to put any in engineer and then for the breacher set we are going to ace hardware expert which is that you drill you fix drills and saws faster drills and saws are also silent civilians and guards must see the drill or saw in order to become alerted and the ace version is it gives your drill and souls a 10% to automatically restart after breaking. And to be honest, I didn't know stars could break. 
I've never seen it happen, but the skill says it, so I'm trusting them on that part. And then for the second tree layer, we can choose between combat uh, engineer and drill sergeant. And we're actually going to pick drill sergeant. Sergeant, you know, not sergeant, but sergeant. I didn't actually read that. And we're going to ace that, which is that your uh, whoop, your drills and saw timer increase is decreased by 15%, and ace it's decreased by an, an additional 15%. So, sorry, 30% in total. And then we're going to uh, put one point in Kickstarter, which is that your drills and saws gain an additional 20% chance for, to automatically restart after breaking. Thanks, Payday. And the ace version is enables the ability to reset a broken or saw with a melee attack. The ability has a 50% chance to fix the drill or saw. This, the ability can only be used once per time the drill or saw is broken. Which in fact is is a very nice skill, you know, so that you don't if you do a like hotline Miami and you're like on the top uh, waiting for the for the, co the co commissar you have to drill and you have to wait and then you can just go around run it and you smack it and it's, it starts again so that's really I really really enjoy that one um, and then we can actually we could actually place points in this one or in this one but as I said I'm not taking the sentry gun so I'm actually going to ace combat engineer which is that the radius of your trip mine explosions is increased by 30% and your trip mine damage is increased by 50% which for C4s, it's nice. It just works, you know, you get a little boost on it, so it's good. And then we have more firepower, which is basically you get more shape charges and more trip mines. So that one's always nice. And then for the last one, the top build is a fire trap. And fire trap is your trip mines now spread fire around the area of detonation for 10 seconds in 7.5 meter diameter. Which kind of feels like the Molotov in my opinion, but for people who don't have the Molotov can take this one, like me. But that would mean that you would lose either a grenade or a uh, or the cards or any of the other things that you can throw. But you know, what are they called? Are they throwables? Yeah, they're called throwables. Yes, they are called throwables. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to ace this one. And the ace version is that you increase the fire effect for 10 seconds. So you have it for 20 seconds total for the fire. And it decreases the fire effect radius by 50%. So you would have nearly 11% something. 11.25% I think. 11.25 meter for the detonation area. And that is the breacher tree fully aced actually. Did you make like a bonus or something when you ace a oh, when you ace an entire uh, skill tree? And then we are going to the oppressor on the technician. And to be honest, I actually really really like this 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 one. I've I've seen some people really thinking like why why would you take this one? But to be honest, I like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to ace steady grip, which is that you gain 24 weapon accuracy when you have it aced, 8 normal, 16 when aced, and then we have heavy impact and fire control, and we have the heavy impact is your shots have a 5% chance to stagger all enemies, it's like bulldozers and captain windows, and ace version is increase your stagger chance by 20%, so you have a 25% total stagger chance for staggering enemies, except the bulldozers and Captain Windows. And then we can choose between lock and load and shore fire and fire control and we are going to ace lock and load which is that you can now fire you can now hip fire your weapons while sprinting. And the ace version is killing two enemies with SMGs, LMGs, assault rifles or special weapons set on automatically set on automatic fire mode will reduce your next reload time by 60%. This bonus is reduced by 1% for each bullet above 20 in the total magazine down to a minimum of 20% of reload time reduction. Okay, so if you have like an, an LMG it should be really good. So we're going to ace that one. Then we're going back to fire control. Which is you gain weapon accuracy while firing from the hip, which actually is really good for 
together with this build, so we're going to pick that up once and then the ace version is your accuracy penalty is decreased by 20% when moving while when shooting while moving so we're going to ace that as well and then for sure fire is your smg lmg and assault rifles gain 50 more bullets in their magazine this does not affect the lock and load ace skill so that is what we're going to pick once and the ace version is your range weapon can now pierce through enemy body armor no it does not apply to throwable weapons so we're going to pick that one up and then for the last one it's body expertise. We're actually going to ace this and what it is is that you gain a bonus headshot damage which is permanently applied to hitting enemies on the body. Which is only applied to a certain amount of special weapons fired in automatic fire mode. Thank you. And the ace version gives it a sick bonus from which is the same which is basically the same thing but improved which is the end oh there we go which is the end of the technician class and then we're going into the ghost class and we are not going to take anyone in shinobi because if you would have the nimble you could you could technically take it but you know with the with the the, the drill sergeant and the and the other and the other drill builds it's not no, I, I just don't don't think that you have the points enough for it. Then for the Artful Dodger, you would increase your stamina and you would increase the dodge if you have it aced. Which we're also not going to pick because this isn't really a build which you can use that for. You might actually want to take parkour because you can sprint and hip fire in all directions. Which seems relatively okay but I just I don't think it works for me. And then for the silent killer tree, we are going to pick one point in second wind, which is that your armor, when your armor breaks, your movement speed increased by 30% for 5 seconds. So if you have like damage and you take it and you run, when you have damage, then you get an extra movement speed boost, which is say, nice if you want to take cover quickly. Which is why we take one point at it, and the other ones are basically made for, for critical chance and for pistols, which I don't really need. Which is basically a ghost build, which is why you would have a silencer build. And then in the fugitive class, you have Gunslinger, Revenant, and Brawler. But we're not going to use any Gunslinger, so we're going to leave that. And then for the Revenant, and we have 21 points left, so we're actually going to not put any points in Brawler anymore, so we can put all our points in this one. And we are actually going to ace 9 lives, which is that you gain 50% increase. You gain a 50% increase to your, to your bleed out health, which doesn't really, it, it's not, it's not, the, it's, I wouldn't want to waste my points in this, but we have to take it in order to unlock the rest, so we're going to pick it up. And the ace version is actually worth it in my opinion, is that you gain the ability to get down one more time before going into custody region. And then we have the choice between running from death, up you go, fiend death and swan song. And I'm actually going to move points in Fiend Death. Which is that when you get down, you have a 50% to instantly get revived. And the 8th version is the chance to get instantly revived is increased by another additional 30%. You get a 45% chance total to get up the second you get down. Which, in my opinion, seems, seems really strong, to be honest. And then we can choose between uh, that you reload faster after being revived and you and you that you move faster when you get revived which this one would fit really well with this one I think uh, yes it does it fits it fits pretty okay with this one actually and then we are going to put um, let's see we're going to put we're going to ace this one bringing death which is that you reload and swamp weapons 100% faster for 10 seconds after being revived and the ace version is that you move 30% faster for 10 seconds after being revived and then we have two points left which we can place in this one or in any of those ones but I really like it in this one when having it aced which means that you take 30% less damage for 10 seconds after being revived which is just you know you, get, you can move faster and you get less damage, so you can take cover really safely. 
And that is the end of the build. It's the end of my uh, my technician blow shit up build, which is basically just put a shit ton of points in technician and then use the technician build, and then filling it up with fugitive sets, ghost sets, a little bit in the force, and a little bit of the mastermind set. So it's it's basically a technician build. So thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you're going to use this build and try to see if it works for you. And if you have any any tips, any hints, or if you really enjoyed the build, please let me know. Also, if you didn't enjoy the build, let me know. So that I can improve my builds and you can improve your builds. And let me know what you would do differently. Because that's, that's what helped me, that's, that is what helps you and that's what helps the community. So, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching and see ya. Bye.